plan today is I'm basically going to be replacing these wheel studs right here. These are like super short. They literally look like nubs. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how I'm going to replace these today. The reason why I'm replacing these is I have some spacers coming in. Um, they're on their way so I can't run spacers and have these super small wheel studs because then I won't have like enough thread to like put the lug on. So I'm going to be replacing them with, I just went with like the OEM length, their ARP. I uh, got them off of like FT86 Speed Factory, so these are like 70 bucks I believe, so it's kind of expensive, but I heard these are like the best on the market. So I went with like the regular OEM length studs, um, not the extended ones, so these should be pretty simple to put in. I heard the extended ones are a little bit more difficult to put in, um, simply because they're longer and it's harder to like fit uh, through or behind the the hub if that makes sense. I don't know, I'll show you guys in a little bit, but yeah, they're just the normal size ones. So the first thing they require you to do is take off the caliper right there and then one at the bottom right here. So make sure it's this one or else this one is just like the brake pads. So I'm going to take this off, that'll come off, and then this whole rotor will come out and then um, I'll be able to hammer these out. pull the rotor off and then it's either I think you like hammer it out like just loosen it or you either put a bolt through is it like one of these yeah and then that bolt basically like pushes it out what other one? the one that we used. so I was like worried I wouldn't be able to like find like a bolt for to like perfectly fit this and then actually like the brake line bolt works so that actually like worked in our favor so yeah if you guys are like wondering what to use just use the brake line bolt what i was talking about with like the extended studs uh, a lot of people have trouble because this is like basically like all the room that you have and then trying to fit i think it's like i don't even know how long it is it'd be hard to really fit through like this little gap so like the so the smaller oem one would be like way easier because it's like all the room you have to work with all the old ones are out. It'll be way easier than I expected. That was like literally all in like five minutes. It'll be like way easier to put in, just put a little bit of grease on the like ridge things. Alright. On this side you actually have this like big gap that you can actually like fit it through. So you kind of just have to like make your way, yeah, and then it'll just like go in like perfectly. You won't have any room, and you won't have any room like at the top or like the bottom. Did it fit over there? Oh, yeah. it did. So just like find a little gap here, and then you'll be able to put it easily. And so what most people do is they use like washers and they stack them right here, and then they put like a lug. Um, but I don't have washers, so in my case, I'm literally just using like a spacer. I'm literally just putting on a spacer to act as a washer and it worked for the other side so I'm going to go ahead and do it this side. Alright so that's pretty much it. It's like as simple as that. As you guys saw, we like broke my spacer. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not good anymore. But yeah, just make sure it fits by putting the rotor back on. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so everything is pretty much installed. Everything is all straight. Um, honestly, that was like one of the easiest like installs or, or mods, I guess I can say. I don't know. That was like one of the easiest things to do, like honestly if I was like rushing and trying to get it done as fast as possible, I could probably do it in like 15 minutes tops. Uh, it was really super easy, there's really nothing that was like difficult to do. So if you guys are like ever wondering if you want to change it yourself, I highly recommend to. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short right here. Um, if you guys watch my next video, um, I'll probably be wearing the same thing because I'm going to go ahead and make another video right now, right after I close this video off. Um, I'm going to be installing some lower control arms and toe arms. So if you guys found this video helpful, smash that like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys have any questions regarding the install.